So this shotgun was built in the 1890s, and uh, who knows where it was and where it went before it made it into my, my grandfather's uh, ownership. But uh, he bought it from a farmer in upstate New York, out of a barn. It was a ball of rust at the time. And he hung it in his den on the wall for many, many years. Uh, he passed away before I was born in 1967. And my mom, knowing that I would probably want this shotgun one day, took it and put it in her bedroom closet where I found it in 1980 when I was 10 years old. For some reason in the videos I keep saying 1982 but I know this isn't correct because I was in the fourth grade in 1980 when I took this shotgun, not in its present condition of course, to school with me. Imagine that. Uh, I carried this shotgun to school. Uh, we, we had gone on a field trip to uh, uh, Williamsburg, Colonial Williamsburg, and I was quite taken with the uh, the magazine where they store all the the guns there, the long long guns, the rifles, and uh, in the gunsmith shop. And uh, so I took this shotgun to school with the principal's um, permission. I, I walked to school with this shotgun wrapped in a in a, a, a tablecloth, and I put it in the principal's office. And I came up at uh, when it was time for me to give my presentation. And I took this to the class, and I, I mock, mocked up how you would have loaded and cock it and shoot it. And that was my report. So, uh, hate a simpler days, huh? Anyhow, uh, so I've had this uh, shotgun. I'm now 42, so I've had it for 32 years. And I just finished a, a, uh, an extensive restoration on it. And what follows are some uh, videos that I took and some still photos that I took of the restoration process. Now, uh, those videos were taken with an old camera, a very bad camera, unfortunately, in a, in a basement without much light, this basement right here. So please forgive the quality, um, but I think it is pretty interesting to see this gun while it was still in the white, and while it was still being worked on, and while the stock was being fixed, and the... And the uh, the metal was being refitted, and the, the parts were being refurbished, and so forth and so on. So, uh, I did make a video of the first firing of this shotgun after the restoration was complete. Uh, the restoration being complete is a treatise on how to spend $2,000 worth of your time and money on a shotgun that's only worth $400. So, uh, but I didn't do it. Uh, with, with dollar signs in mind. I did it because this belonged to my grandfather and it's a piece of our family history. So please check out the video of the first firing and uh, please uh, subscribe and, and thumbs up if you like it and if you have any questions let us know and please check back at Homesteading Hangout in the future for more videos. I got this when I was about 12 I am now 42, so I've had it a while, and it was was not attached to the stock, so I made some barrel pin and some little discussions there. You can tell it, it's the original ramrod. Uh, I had to polish all the rust off the barrel and all of the metal parts really and uh, as a matter of fact it's been so long since I did that that some of that rust is starting to come back the uh, little rib on the barrel popped a little bit And uh, gonna have to retap the the holes for the uh, for the percussion uh, nipples there. One of them is completely stripped out, and the other one is just kind of barely hanging on. So might have to put some oversized nipples in it or something. Uh, polish the tang up. Kind of put a light sand on the wood. Beautiful, beautiful walnut wood. And. Uh, I'm refitting all the metal to it. Um, just made new screws for 
the locks. The old screws were really, really destroyed. Um, as a matter of fact, I have them right here. So the screws are made custom for each location. Uh, being that all the parts were handmade, the holes are uh, not very uniform. So I made the screws to fit each individual hole. Just got done making this screw, and that one runs through this hole and through that hole. Holds the front of the locks together through. The shotgun itself. Got some work to do on the locks. Gonna have to build up some metal on a couple of these areas uh, where it was, where it has been worn down, and then uh, file it back out. Um, also gonna have to uh, build up uh, the left hammer hole which, uh, here's the hammers, by the way, and uh, the right hammer is, is fine, but the left hammer face is, if you can see, it's super dished out, and so I'm going to build that up with a little bit of weld and machine it back out, and also have to fix the trigger guard, beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, the trigger guard. Here's the end that broke off and uh, that's the tang there. I guess you'd call that the tang. And really just a graceful beautiful trigger guard. Uh, you can see my attempts to silver solder it there didn't work out. So I'm going to go ahead and use the, uh, the MIG welder. Weld that back together and reshape it. And there's the forend piece. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of work on it. It's really nifty. You can see that I did a video. I'm ready to start working on the final sanding and uh, finish of the wood. Of uh, polished and prepped most of the metal parts for browning. Uh, fixed the trigger guard that was broken in half, fixed, fixed the tumbler inside of one of the locks that was worn and to the point where it wasn't working quite right. Uh, don't know if this is going to focus, but that uh, particular hammer was dished out really bad, so built that back up with weld and reshaped it. I still have a little bit to do on that. The uh, split in the hammer is not quite right, and uh, so i got to do a little bit more work there. Added the uh, discussions for the uh, barrel keeper. Still have to fix the ramrod. The old ramrod is, is broken. Right there, so I'll fix that. I still have to do the final uh, polishing and work on the barrel, uh, plus fix. So I had to sink a dowel of wood in there to fix that. And the butt plate was never quite fitted right from the factory. So I had to refit the butt plate and uh, had to replace a lot of screws. Uh, the two in the butt plate were missing. Again, this, this shotgun was broken all the way through the stock. Uh, let me pull it out of the vise again all the way to the top and that happened obviously on both sides uh, came all the way through the trigger guard up through the lock into this area so I repaired that put two dowels through the stock to strengthen it there and about right there
This just had a hole through the fore end, <coughs> which someone had stuck a piece of metal through, and uh, had eventually gotten lost. I don't know whatever happened to the original pin, but when I got the shotgun, it was in two pieces with a broken stock. So I fixed that before I strip it down and start to um, fill uh, and stain and wheel of the wood and start to brown all of the white steel pieces uh, for final assembly. So there it is. Beautiful. Love that green. <laughs>